with him having the greatest season in history uh, for any player. He's Great call. only been getting better. Swaggy T. Swaggy like, I like T. that. Baseball lifestyle. It's my lifestyle. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Ground Screw. I'm your host, Josh Gerson, along with my co-host, Bill Rahm. What's going on, guys? Got a great show for you today. Um, today, we're talking about our NL and AL MVP picks. Um, but what? there is a but. It can't be an all-star from 2019. Nobody on the rosters. Bill's got his picks ready to go. Hit him with it. Everybody knows who's a fan of the show, where I am going with my first pick. AL MVP, Shohei Otani. I believe at this point that the world has taken notice of Shohei Otani and he is going to be the AL MVP. Uh, I don't think that he will be the AL Cy Young Award winner. I think that he'll have to settle for MVP. Mm -hmm. But with him having the greatest season in history uh, for any player where he's going to have 150 hits and 150 strikeouts. He's going to have, you know, an 11-plus strikeout per nine-inning rate. He's going to smack 40 home runs. Uh, Shohei Otani, easy choice for AL MVP. My NL MVP, Juan Soto. Uh, Soto is going to come out, absolutely mash the baseball this year. Uh, put up Barry Bonds type numbers. I am going to go super bold, and I'm going to say that Juan Soto hits over 315, okay, and hits 50 home runs. I'm going 50, 50 home runs. Oh my he god! He is the NL home run leader. He is the champ. He's going to hit 50 home runs with a 315 batting average, and he is going to be the NL MVP as the Braves come in second. In the NL East. Interesting. Take so far. Great picks, Bill. I, I totally agree with you. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't let somebody go first. That's fine. You got to look through this list faster. That, you're right. You're right. Uh, now you're going to come with good heat, though. You're going to come with great heat right here. Um, so right. who is start... your AL MVP? AL. Okay. Who was not an MVP? Um... Let me see here. Or I can go where I know you're going to go, and you're going to go NL MVP. I was going to start with NL. So start off with your NL MVP. Okay. This is going to come out of left field. Left field. But not the position left field. Damn. Um, I'm going to say Dansby Swanson. Wow. Okay. Dansby is a good call. I think he's been trending up, and last year he actually looked really good. He looked like he kind of figured it out last year. Um, his swing had been a little shaky in 2019, but I think I think he's got a shot to, to really kind of make a splash. Now, I think and him and Bregman were always being compared when they first got drafted. Um, and personally, I was always a fan of Bregman over Swanson, but Swanson has started growing into his role a little bit, found his power, obviously always had a good glove. He's my pick. Outside shot, there's a lot of guys who I would put up before him that were all-stars. Um but I like him. I think he's a great player, and I think he's he's kind of poised to make a splash this year. So immediately, I gotta ask: You think Swanson over Tatis? Um, frankly, I was already committed to Swanson. I was assuming you were gonna say Tatis. It Dang. is what it is. I was I was like, you know, what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna falter here. Well, um, I actually I, I think that that's a if we look back in time, Dan's B. Swanson was a stud at Vandy. Yep. Right. Highly touted player hasn't really like fully blossomed. But he's on a team that wins consistently. Yep. Uh, he's he's going to be in a lineup that has the actual NL MVP, Juan Soto, in it. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's got a, a real... Feel the Braves. Damn. Why, yeah. am I, why am I blanking on this this entire <laughs> He's drive? in the same division I, as Juan Soto. I keep getting Acuna mixed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep wanting Acuna to be a national. I keep wanting Soto to be a Brave. Mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, I, I think I think that's a good call. I like the I like Dansby as a as a thought. I like Dansby as a thought. So now and it can't be can't be Luke Voigt. Who do Definitely you think not be Luke Voigt. is going? To I never be, said he was going to be MVP. I'm just again I Luke Voigt out out for a while this season. Yeah. That that big time home run swing just might not might not ever be seen again, as he's going to be 31 soon. Yeah. We'll see. I don't Tough know. He's out like six candidate. weeks. I think. Tough to be a breakout candidate. Yeah. When you're 31 year old injured guy yeah it's not great talk to me al mvp <sighs> and was not an all-star in 2019 
Um, oh, he actually just went out. Guys, so this makes this tough. Like, this is to very tough. Who are listening to this, like, I'm like jumping back between rosters. You There's keep new thinking guys. you're going to know, but this includes the reserves. Yep. So any guy who was even a reserve on the list, you cannot choose. So this really takes away a lot of guys. Yeah. And I went first. So, like, very, very difficult. If I were allowed to, which we put in this that you – if you were MVP on one NL and now you're AL, you still can't be it. But if I was going to choose another guy, mm-hmm. I'll stay with the Angels. Uh, Anthony Rendon, going to be a, a shot for being the, the... He's on the list, man. I know he's on the list. I'm saying, if yeah. I had been if allowed had, oh, to... Oh, Rendon, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Rendon. He was an NL MVP, mm-hmm. but he has never been an AL MVP. Mm-hmm. I like him as the AL MVP this year. So if we had allowed a little bit of finagling, little, I would put him in A little wiggle there. room. A little wiggle. Um, hmm. Okay, here's here's one. Uh, I'm going to say Tim Anderson. Wow, great call. Tim, I love Tim. Great He's call. He's only been getting better. Swaggy T. Swaggy like, I like T. that. Great bat. It was batting title two years ago, I think. I forget. 2019. 2019, right? Phenomenal baseball player. They got a great team this year. Probably going to be a postseason Was contender. he not an all-star that year? I don't think so. Unless I'm not, unless I missed it. Let me see. American League shortstop Polanco, backup shortstop was Bogarts and Lindor. Wow. Yeah. Sneaky. He was not an MVP in a year where he batted 335. He gets slept on hard. It's 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 messed up. Honestly, I've I've been a culprit. I've made lists of good shortstops and left him off, and I feel bad about it because you know what? He's a stud. Well, so you know what? You know what? He's got a little bit of. He he was not a good player. He started off rocky. Years. Yeah, yeah, he started off rocky. He Absolutely. was not a good player for three years. Yep. He had two seasons in a row where his OPS was in the 600s. Mm-hmm. And and he was 25 with a with a, a 240 batting average and a 687 OPS. At that point in time, that player's buried. Yeah. But he came out in 2019 with an 865 OPS, batted 335. Last year, 886 OPS, 322. I actually, I love that pick. I think that's a stellar pick. Yeah. I think you crushed it. Thank you. Low key, I I I'm only getting more on his way, honestly. Yeah, li- yeah. I, I I like he's another guy that you know he started doing the Victus stuff and mm-hmm. he started getting a little bit more notoriety. He's got a good yep. good he's personality, got a great personal brand, everything else. Yeah. Um. Again, challenge being for him is he's 28. You know, the guys like Tatis who are doing mm-hmm. it when they're 21 years old, you become this celebrity because you're good young. Yeah. Right. But meanwhile, you have a guy who's older who is probably as good of a player mm-hmm. as a holistic piece, uh, just won't ever get the same hype. But love that pick. If, if he puts together another high 800 OPS season and he bats 300-something, White Sox or any semblance of good, you actually might. He's going to get votes. Yeah. He's going to get votes. Great pick. I'm surprised to see that he wasn't. But, again, I think it's because he had the baggage going into that year yeah. of being a bad player. He was playing well, and I don't think he had enough notoriety at the time to get the votes. Yeah. You know, you're, you're talking about the, the backups were Bogarts and Lindor. Yeah. With Jorge Polanco being the number yeah, one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, we, again, Lindor at that time was even 24-year-old player, had been yeah, a stud. Yeah, stud. He was the original OG Tatis. Yeah. So, like, having that, love that. Great choice. Great choice. Guys, Leave us a comment in the bottom. You cannot choose anybody who is a 2019 AL or NL MVP. Who would, do you think has the highest likelihood of winning the MVP award this season? All-star, not MVP. No, no we said MVP. MVP, no. not all-star. You said 2019 it's, all-star. It's a 2019, 2019 all-star, all-star list for this year's MVPs. Got it. Drop it in the comments. Let us Thanks, know. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Follow us. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave us a review. We love you guys. Thank you. We will see you on the next episode. Baseball lifestyle. It's my lifestyle. <laughs>